Hey, Scorpio. Hey, guess what? It's your turn for a general reading. You guys got a weekender. Other signs didn't, so I don't really feel too bad about getting this out last. But I did have your reading um, recorded and it would not post. I had a technical issue with my uh, device and it would not upload. So I'm going to take that as a sign that it wasn't meant to be. So we're going to redo your reading. It's going to be a quick one. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, do not try to force something. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Uh, if you are interested in a private session with me below, information is in the info uh, or description box below. We can do it FaceTime, Duo, uh, even text. I do text to tarot, all that good stuff. And my clients find a lot of value in it. So um, timelines are fluid. We're going to get four cards from my archetype deck. Then we're going to break it down with another deck. Let's go. What's coming towards Scorpio, please? What energy is coming towards Scorpio? And I'm going to have to do this kind of janky because that there's the mentor card right out the gate we're going to do individual energies on each one of these but obviously you're being some type of mentor or being mentored at this time scorpio coming in someone very prevalent in your life could really be helping you learn i feel you're very much the student right now uh after being the mentor for quite some time that's very interesting scorpio tell me more what other energy do we have coming towards scorpio uh as we move forward there's the mask also i don't know what's going on scorps but there's definitely a big change in uh energy fields for you you quite literally might have to wear a mask every day at your job side note um tell me more tell me more What's coming in for Scorpio, please? There it is, the comic. Really good, lighthearted energy. I love this for you, Scorps. You've had some pretty heavy readings here lately. So I really love this energy for you. You're obviously hanging around people that are making you joyful. Um, there's gonna be possibly one person in particular that's really gonna lift your spirits. You're gonna find them hilarious. Uh, or you yourself could be the funny person. Don't, don't sleep on a Scorpio. They got funny, funny energy. Uh, and then we've got the Pilgrim. So, uh, very interesting way to round that out. Let's go deeper. Tell me about the mentor here. Okay. I'm going to look at this really quick. Let me, let me look at how this landed here. Scorpio, Spirit is wanting me to absolutely, first and foremost, say... Your life has been way too serious and is really needing lighthearted, positive energy. You are the only person who can manage this energy in or around you. It's almost like you've forgotten who you are. Oh, that just hit deep with somebody. That's what the mask is. Notice how this is interesting, y'all. Okay, look at this. I've never noticed this before. Okay, this cat has a mask on. That's actually human eyes underneath the cat's face. Wearing a birthday hat. There may be something relevant around your birthday, but then we have the mask. You see what I'm saying? It's like you've had a mask on over who you really are. Or someone else that has always been known for being a clown is finally coming back into the to the who they really are, and you're you're seeing a major transition. It's like this person was almost in a black freaking hole, man. There might be a parallel between you and this person. We'll dig deeper. Let's go. Come on, tell me about this mentor. What's this mentor energy? I'm gonna do them in order. Straight. All right, tell me about this mentor energy. What is this mentor energy for Scorpio? Right out the gate. Page of Swords. Someone's watching you. You're being watched. Someone's looking you up on social media as well. I feel this is actually work-related, Scorps. Someone is watching your performance right now. So either you're going after a promotion or you're looking to change jobs. You may have just accepted a new role. Uh, there's something work-related where you are going to be watched and it's really going to be important because this is going to help get you to the next phase. 
So if you're looking to change jobs, if you're looking to get promoted, if you're looking to take on a new project or be a part of a team for a special project, or you're, you're wanting to possibly work remote, I don't know, whatever it is, I'm telling you right now, you're being watched, okay? Nothing to sweat. Because I'm telling you right now, I don't know a damn Scorpio that's not one of the hardest workers I've ever met. I, I'm not kidding you. Every single Scorpio I've ever met has been that way. And if they weren't, it's because something was wrong with them. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm dying, Scorps. Tell me I'm lying. Oh, that's funny. Okay, tell me more. There it is. The Fool. Yeah, I got the Fool, the Empress, and Ace of Cups. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Whatever this person is watching, they are loving, okay? They are seeing you be in your prime. Empress, don't get it twisted, could be the emperor. This is like super chill, in your prime. You know what you're doing. You're confident. You're very well respected. And then we have the Ace of Cups. There's the love. They love what they're seeing. Notice how there's two doves here? Partnership, working together to, to, for a general cause. This person, and it's one. Ace is one. New love. So I don't know who this is, but you got a big fan of you, Scorpio. Congratulations. Kudos to you. And that's a long ass time coming. I just heard that. Oh, I know that's right. Okay. Tell me about the mask. Let's go deeper. Tell me about the mask. What's this mask energy for Scorpio, please? Oh, 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 oh. We got eight of swords and we got the eight, or excuse me, seven of swords and eight of cups and the five of wands. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to put right out the gate. Whoever this person was. I just heard past coworker. This is work related. If this is not your situation, Scorpio, don't take it. But I'm telling you right now, I'm connected with Scorpios that have been in a really negative work situation. There was a lot of uh, arguing, competition, People not seeing eye to eye, a lot of yelling. I feel like there was a, a incident where somebody was yelling. Whatever it is, you're wanting to walk away or you put your foot down and you said, I ain't taking this shit. And that is where Scorpio's mask came off or somebody else did this in front of you or you watched a coworker do this. So I feel like someone almost quit on the spot or was fired like out of nowhere seven of swords but it wasn't out of nowhere it was like premeditated Scorpio either you watched people gang up on somebody someone was wearing a false mask or this happened to you either way you got out or the situation's about to mend itself or something's happening and I'm telling you right now it was absolutely in your favor so whatever this was if it hasn't happened, it's about to. You're about to witness something pretty big here work-wise. Okay. Tell me about the comic. Who's the comic? Tell us about the comic. I'm sorry. It's windy here. I would normally have my cards on camera, you guys, but it's windy. Knight of coin. There's the offer. I'm seeing more money. Six of Wands, can't make it up, and the King of Pentacles. Damn, Scorpio. And you know what? I feel like that King of Pentacles came out for you in the last two readings. Okay, this person, Scorpio, either this is you back in your energy of being happy, go uh, happy, go lucky, lighthearted, Knight of Coin, Six of Wands, King of Coin. Your finances have just increased drastically, or they're about to increase, or whatever decision you're making, or whatever's happened at work has somehow benefited you financially. You're getting more money in your pocket, or uh, you're able to get caught back up, or you're dealing with a potential Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that is also a cot, like a, a funny person. They may have offered you a new job. They may offer you this promotion. They may offer you to work on their team. You may get a special project from this person, whoever it is. I'm telling you right now, this person's a huge fan of you. And you're a huge fan of them. This could be a new partnership. This could be a new friendship. I see this person really being in your life for a while, Scorpio. This could even be your spouse. Okay? This is a really good reading. It really is. Aside from this asshole you were dealing with. You were an asshole. I call it like I see it. Tell me I'm lying, Scorpio, because I'm not. 
whoever that was, that person is like, they've got mental health issues, so you really probably should be praying for them. But also, I feel like they did something really fucked up to you, so maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's keep pushing. Here's how we're ending this. This is a pilgrim, and this is about your spiritual journey. Obviously, this has been a major change for you. Whatever's coming in by the end of the month, by the by this time next month, so what's the day, 7th? October 7th, you mark my words, you're going to be in a totally different uh, mentality. I just saw a yellow canary fly by. Spiritual, Check out the spiritual meaning of yellow canary. Even that in and of itself, that type of bird is known for being super positive, happy. It's yellow, man. Okay, tell me more. I just heard the word sovereign. Sovereign? Scorpio is about to be sovereign by then. Oh, oh, this is getting deep. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. Tell me what we need to know about this pilgrimage. Tell me about the pilgrimage with Scorpio. What do we need? What do we need? There it is. Oh my gosh. Two more cards fell. I'm going to take them with the falling. Pilgrimage. What do we need for Scorpio moving forward, please? Hot damn. Can Scorpio just get some peace and quiet? That's all Scorpio wants. Is that right? Is that right, Scorpio? Something that really inspires you. Look at her looking in this box. Something fresh. Something new. Maybe you're starting a new project or a new hobby that you've recently found that you're using your hands with. You're really good at it. I'm telling you right now, you're picking up a new hobby by the end of the month. That's a part of the pilgrimage. There's something there about that hobby that is a part of your pilgrimage. It may even help you start a business. Ooh, I'm hearing that. Yep, my ear just itched on that. Scorpio, there may be a hobby you're picking up by the end of the month, and it's it will take a few months to launch, but I'm hearing business opportunity. Yep. Nine of Wands, overcoming burdens, overcoming any challenge with regards to that possible business. Mm-hmm. Scorpio, let me tell you something, okay? Part of the pilgrimage is meant to be God-awful. It's meant to have you in your head. It's your job to not self-sabotage, okay? So if you needed a confirmation on how strong you really are. I'm telling you right now, this is a facade. This energy with your pilgrimage, it's all meant and happening the way it's supposed to. It's designed that way. There's no real growth without pain. And if you've gone through some of the most immense amount of pain you've ever seen anybody go through, I'm telling you right now, there's a reason. Because you're a leader. Tell me more, Scorpio. See what I tell you. You see that person taking their shot, Nine of Wands. This is inspiration. You inspire people. You get them fired up. Scorpio is also the most mature of all the water signs for a reason. Transformative. Passionate. Mysterious. Tell me more about this pilgrimage with regards to Scorpio. What do we need to know? Any other further messages, please? Queen of Wands just fell out. Underneath that, we had the Three of Coin, and there's the Fountain. I cannot make this up. Scorpio, here's what you need to know right now. There are people in your life. I feel two very prominent people in your life that are gifted and put on your path for a reason to help you realize and understand your own gifts. Ooh, Scorpio, that's deep. Scorpio. <clears throat> this is a fountain card. What I tell you, this is, there's the only card in the deck like this is a fountain. Notice the infinity sign up top. This energy is like a freaking atomic bomb energetically. That is the power these two have and influence. And Scorpio, you're directly tied. Do you know why? I used the fountain tarot for a reason. The fountain, water, water sign, Scorpio, you. So if this is you on your pilgrimage, who are these two? Because 
I'm telling you right now, these I feel like these are children that are both marked and gifted. If they're not children, they're students of yours, loved ones, friends of the family. There are two prominent people in your life that you need to be very, very grateful for because these have actually been your teachers and they're about to teach you a whole lot. Wow. That's your reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a pleasure. I love reading for you. It's an absolute honor. If you're interested in a private session, information is below. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. If this is where we part ways, then so be so. But I certainly hope to see you back. Thank you so much, Scorpio. You got great things coming your way. And if you did just secure a new job or you're about to leave and a one that's uh, really, really hurting you, then congratulations. Proud of you. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? All my love. Thank you.